Unica's worktop jigs are designed to enable you to cut worktop mitre joints in post-foamed worktops. In this film I will guide you through the correct step-by-step -step procedures for using a Unica jig and also help you to understand and overcome common mistakes. To operate a Unica jig you will need a hand router, 30mm guide bush, 12.7mm router cutter and two quick release G clamps. First step is to fit the cutter and guide bush onto the router. Set up the required female cut by placing the yellow pegs in the correct holes and clamp the jig in position. The cutting depth is set to 10mm on the router and then plunge to that depth. The cutter should always enter the post formed edge for all cuts. The side of the slot nearest the operator is used to guide the router. This is very important. Continue 10 millimeters at a time until the waste is removed. Now the final female cut can be performed. Here the operator uses the side of the slot furthest from himself to guide the router. Here the router is doing very little work and is taking off one millimetre to obtain a smooth finish. Next the male cut is set up and the appropriate pegs are inserted. The jig is positioned on the worktop and clamped down. Once again the cutting depth is set to 10mm and the cutter enters the post formed edge. Here you can see the second pass. A number of passes are required to remove the waste. Before you make the final pass, look carefully at this picture. Despite using the slot, a sharp angle has been produced. Performing the finishing cut will replace this point with a smooth and radius that will match the female perfectly. As with the female, the side of the slot furthest from you is being used to guide the router. If you have performed the final cut properly, your top will look like this. If you have not used the side of the slot furthest from you, 
it will look like this photo with a sharp edge. The Unica jig will allow you to cut pockets for 150mm worktop connecting bolts. You must carefully set your cutter depth to accommodate the bolt but no further. Notice the router has moved in a clockwise direction to prevent the cutter taking control. Three bolt slots like this one are recommended for a 600 to 650 mm wide worktop. The worktop can now be positioned and the bolts fitted from below.